some sort of uh, academic, wasn't he, from Poland or somewhere? Um, Hungary, and he's a professor of design. All right, how come you know so much? <laughs> well, Ian, Carl, I have to admit, I did have a bit of help from an expert. Yeah? Who? Hey. Can I tell you that's where I was last week? No. With Rubik. Feature. Mr. Rubik, Rubik, is your cute from outer space? Mr. Rubik, Rubik, he got three sides then lost his place. Mr. Rubik, Rubik, he just twists your cube all day. He's saying my idea of child's play. The release of the Cube in 1980 started a worldwide craze that lasted four years, crossing all cultural barriers. The success of the puzzle defied belief, earning Rubik a fortune and also making an equal amount for gangs of international counterfeiters too. A minor publishing boom began around books based on the Cube. Presidents were seen playing with it. There was even an official World Cube Championship. And Rubik himself has become the best known name from the Eastern Bloc after Mikhail Gorbachev. The world of puzzles and games had never seen anything quite like it. Well, the man responsible for all of that is about as fascinating as the game itself. He's really a man of contrasts. He lives here in Hungary behind the Iron Curtain, yet his ideas travel across all borders. He's a millionaire in a communist country, yet he ends up spending a lot of his money on other inventors. He's famous all over the world, yet he's a painfully shy man. Meet Professor Ernu Rubik. I, I believe people like problems and people like to solve them. The name may be known, but not the man. I found him thoughtful, but very private. People will find their own answers in his designs because his work has all of us in mind. I studied many things, uh, sculpturing, uh, architecture, uh, interior design, and uh, I like geometry especially, and I like problem solving, I like to play, I like to play chess and uh, uh, other traditional toys and games. And in my belief, all of these things are connected. Uh, for me, it's not a big difference to design a building or to design the small object. Rubik's beliefs have made him rich, but also seen him endorsed by the Communist Party as a model citizen and example to all Hungary. The success of the Cube took Rubik from $200 a month as a teacher to earning that much in a single hour. It's allowed him to set up his own studio where new inventors are being encouraged. It also works on Rubik's own designs, like the successful successor to the Cube, Rubik's Magic. Magic can be flipped and folded into a myriad of geometric shapes and graphic designs. In contrast to the Cube, $10 million was spent on its development and promotion. To avoid counterfeiters, it was produced in a remote village in southern China by Rubik's business partner, a Hong Kong toy mogul. Just like the Cube, the beauty is in its simplicity, a Rubik hallmark. All the time I am looking for the simplest what is possible, because I believe that is the simplest has the greatest possibility for the combinations and for creation. There is only one solution to the problem of interlocking the brightly coloured rings, but adults seem to lack the lateral thinking necessary to solve it and can easily be outgunned by kids who think less rigidly. I can't do it. I just can't do it. 